Welcome back everyone. Today's gonna be a quick little two minute Tuesdays. I wanted to share with you a simple secret to success as being a reptile breeder. So lots of people wonder to themselves what kind of animals should I invest in? People have all sorts of different ideas. For me, I've always been the type of breeder that likes to work on certain projects, you know, get excited about something, work towards making the animals or buying the animals and producing the ones that you like the most. But we don't all have the same tastes and that's part of what can make this more interesting of a hobby because everyone has different projects and different things that they like to work on. At the same time, if you just wanna be a successful reptile breeder, you could keep it simple. You ever heard the term, keep it simple, stupid? And the easiest way to keep it simple is just focusing on two things, white snakes and black snakes. White snakes, like these blue-eyed Lucy's, have always been popular and that they'll always be able to sell. These ones I'm keeping for myself and growing so that I can produce more. If I wanted to sell them, they'd be gone. And you can get them for as low as $300. You can see them up for about $600. And when they're gone, they're gone. So people are looking for them and they're willing to pay whatever to get them. So white snakes is always good. Another popular option is black snakes. So this is a little African house snake, a type of snake that I think is really not as popular as it should be. Very beautiful animals, very cute, very lots of personality and all that stuff. But another snake that's similar to them is, well, not that similar, but it's black, is the Mexican black king snake. And the Mexican black king snakes used to go for like $80 when I first got into the hobby and now they're going for like $400. So one of the few snakes that have actually kind of gone up in value over time, because with all the morphs and stuff, they're exciting, but when they first come out, they're crazy expensive, and then as time goes by, they get cheaper and cheaper. But if you want to kind of just have a simple plan, work with just a few animals, and honestly, it's always better if you work with less animals anyways, that way you can just give them better care, and really kind of specialize in something. I've made the mistake of getting into too many projects and I got so many animals to clean all the time. Now I'm downsizing. You don't have to make my mistake though. You, you could just start off with some beautiful black snakes, some beautiful white snakes, and you're almost guaranteed to succeed because there's always gonna be a desire and a need for white and black snakes. Hope you enjoyed that simple tip. If you did, click that like button and check out this video or that video. <laughs>